how are you? It's Nick again. I am back with another video for you, and I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook ad through command. So let's get started. I'm on the home page here. I'm going to go over to the uh, to the left hand side and click on the little megaphone that says campaigns. Now, if you're having trouble uh, remembering what the icons are, just click the KW logo and the names of those of those features will pop out. So go to campaigns. And here we are under my campaigns dashboard. And oh, awesome. I've got 12 leads. Those are all leads that are coming from uh, from an ad I'm running uh, for my app, which is awesome right here. I'm getting, uh, I got 12 app downloads for 383 each, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, let's create a new campaign for Facebook. We're gonna click the new campaign button right up here at the top and we're gonna click social ad paid. And we're gonna name this, I don't know, uh, 123 Main Street. That house always seems to be for sale. Uh, we're going to be advertising this listing. Now, these goals don't do anything for your, uh, for your targeting. It's just for your own metrics to keep. All right, so uh, let's create a Facebook ad. And you know what? We can also create an Instagram ad at the same time. That way I can show you how to do, uh, do both at once. So we're going to do Facebook and Instagram. We're going to set up that campaign. Here we go. Bringing us right into, um, well, let me click that out. This brings us to the KWLS. Uh, now, if you had listings, they would show up right here on the only my listings page. Um, but I'm going to toggle to all listings and I'm going to pick uh, my listing that I want to advertise. Or maybe I had uh, a listing from someone in my office that, that uh, an agent is letting me advertise with listings. So let's just look for... Um, listings in Clarkston, Michigan. But if I knew the address, obviously, I would type that specific address in and it would pop up. So I want to go to the one that I'm potentially going to advertise. I just want to get one with a nice photo. Okay, this one, this one looks okay. Let's do this one. So I'm going to select it. And what happens is it will automatically give me a photo here to use, but I can obviously change it. And what, what else it does is it brings in the the description from the MLS, which I might not want to use, right? So, because sometimes the MLS descriptions aren't very marketable, but I can use some of it, right? So, welcome to your sprawling ranch estate and over acre property. Okay, I like I like that uh, verbiage. So let's erase that, and I might want to add an um, an emoji here. So if I click here, go to emojis, the little smiley face, click on this, and let's type in the word house, and this house will pop up. Uh, okay, so I might have to move this over, so cut and paste the house. Welcome to Sprawling Ranch Estate, already get property. Um, this won't last long and has lots of amazing updates. Then we can say click learn more for info price and photos right and then here i want to add some emojis too so i want to do um uh, let's do a magnifying glass because that's kind of finding that's like a sign for finding out information and then let's do um pointing down right because i want to give them uh, i want to give them instructions to uh to learn more and point down so I'm just gonna throw that in there and you can see it has the emojis over here to the right hand side which is nice okay so now my headline would be something about the house just listed ranch in Clarkston and over here we can see that's where the headline goes and we can say uh, now what KW does is you can use descriptions here you can shuffle them uh to to kind of like choose the one you want so let's just say you could be coming home to this and we use suggestion we use that suggestion if you don't like it you can obviously erase it and create your own but i'm going to use that because it's quicker and then i'm going to save my text now this is a super cool part that i love i'm going to add more media so let's configure it all right so if i click this add more media boom all the pictures from the mls pop up that is so stinking cool i can't even take it all right let's find some nice photos so we have a picture of the front of the house. You know, I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to use this photo for the front. So I'm going to preview this. And here up here, it depends on how your photo looks. You can do a square, you can do a vertical, um, and then you can move it around. But um, I'm going to do wide because that's a better uh, picture because it's a ranch. So save that image. And I want to use this for the main image. So I'm going to move this over here. 
uh, and then you can see over here it changed to that main image now I already have an outside photo so I might not want to use this one so I'm gonna delete it we'll delete that photo and then we'll add some more let's see um, yeah let's do uh, let's do this kitchen we'll say it, we'll do this one and this is vertical so I'm gonna want to choose vertical so it gets the whole kitchen so we'll save that I'm gonna add more um, let's pick uh, a nice bathroom shot we'll do that this is another vertical one uh, that's square vertical there we go save it um, anyway so you get the point you can do up to five different photos in this carousel ad so when people see it in their news feed they're gonna swipe um, let's just do one more so you can get a bit a more of an idea uh, let's use um, you know let's use the laundry room okay so that's another vertical lots of verticals here I'm not really sure why but you know whatever okay so you can drag and drop your logo here um, and what will happen is, let's see if I find a logo. So browse my logos, um, and I'm going to choose. You guys probably can't see this because I'm not sharing this page. But when I choose a logo, now it's going to show up uh, right there at the bottom. See that? Uh, KW logo. It could be your logo. It could be your DBA logo. It could be your team logo. You know, whatever you want to be, it will be on the bottom corner uh, of every photo, which is nice. Uh, your ownership statement is just basically um, each office is independently owned and operated. You don't have to use that. It's not um, it's not necessary or mandatory. Okay, so we're going to save that. Then we're going to go to Facebook ads and Instagram. So we're going to configure that. Now, you can see it says Keller Williams here, but you have to connect your Facebook page, your business page to command. You do that over here under settings, and then you find your business page for your with ads manager, and you connect it. It's very, very simple. Um, and I actually want to promote an Instagram story, not an Instagram ad. And Instagram stories get much more engagement than Instagram ads. So you can see up here, it shows you what each of them looks like. So this is a Facebook preview, and then we have a Facebook mobile preview, and we also have an Instagram story carousel. So this is right at the top of Instagram, um, and that will be in the story section where people can swipe, swipe, swipe back and forth, and then the description is going to be right under it with the call to action. So that's kind of cool. Stories are very um, engaging. So anyway, let's select our page because I don't want to do the Keller Williams page. So let's choose, okay, Superior Homes Group. That's my team in Michigan. Uh, you can see that it's changed. And when I go to Facebook, it's changed as well. And, you know, it looks really nice. Um, and if I have my Facebook, um, uh, yeah, this is just basically what it does. There you go, guys. I was going to say something, but decided not to. It's not important. <laughs> All right, so learn more. That's the call to action we're going to use. You have three different calls to action, definitely say learn more and then your follow-up uh that your your follow-up destination url so the address is uh 5350 clarkston road so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my website so my um my kw website you guys can't see right now because i'm not sharing that screen but i am going to get that listing so we can use it uh, it really can be any I'm not I'm just gonna get any link right now for for example purposes so let's go back to command uh, so I can show you here we go so I just got a link from my website with the listing and I would put it right here okay um, and that's where it's gonna take them once they click through now it's very important use Facebook lead generation form that's very very important because what's gonna happen is when they click learn more they're gonna get a lead form they're gonna get a landing page that pops up that's gonna auto populate their information into um, into the lead form and they just have to submit that information name phone number and email and then what happens is that will go right into command as a lead okay because Facebook has all their information they're just uh, they are just approving it all right so now we want to choose targeting we definitely want to use custom settings okay because that way we can reach more people that are interested in what we're trying to sell them so search the location we're in Clarkston Michigan um, you know the radius would just kind of be up to you you can go as much as um, as far out as you want oh 50 miles I'm sorry you're right you can go only far uh, as 50 miles and then you can only go as narrow as 15 miles and then we're going to choose some interest. So I usually choose, first off, right off the bat, Realtor.com 
people who are interested in Realtor.com because Realtor.com interests bring uh, bring people who have searched on Realtor.com for homes. So I'm going to choose Realtor.com. I'm going to choose Zillow. Now make sure you choose Zillow, not Zillow Premier Agent, so you don't get in front of too many realtors. Uh, then I'm going to choose, let's see. Um, oh, you know what? Depending on the type of home it is, uh, I'm going to choose first time buyer. Maybe I'll choose first time home buyer grant. Those are good ones to choose. Um, now, if you want to advertise something that's um, specific to the house itself, um, like maybe it has a nice kitchen, you can type in kitchen and see um, what that brings up. People who might be interested in nice kitchens. You can also um, do all, you can grab any of these interests here that, that have that have to do with the house or have to do with looking for buyers. Now there's a couple different, there's one other thing I want to show you, right? So you can target the, you can target realtor.com or, uh, or Zillow or first time buyer or first time buyer home grant or kitchens or whatever. Um, you can do, or, or you can do and, right? So the difference there is when you choose and it's people who encompass all of these things, right? People who look on realtor.com and Zillow, and they might be a first time buyer, and they might be interested in a first time home buyer grant, and they might like nice kitchens. Now, this is a very important piece of advice for you guys when you're choosing and. Don't choose too many interests, three or four at the most. And that's because with and, you're targeting people that meet all of the criteria as opposed to or, where you're targeting people that meet one or two or one or the other. Okay, so it's a very big difference. When you're choosing or, you can choose up, I would choose up to like eight or so interests. If you're choosing and, I would only do three or four at the most because your reach will be much smaller, but it'll be more impactful and more purposeful and you may get more motivated buyers that way. So anyway, let's save that and then we're gonna go to your duration and budget. Okay, so um, today today is the is the sixth, but your ad starts the next day. It will usually take twelve to twenty four hours for your ad to uh, to get approved and start. Uh, but you can't start an ad to you can't click the the same day uh, that you're creating the ad. Um, so let's do um, let's see. So is that one two three four five? Uh, that's four days, two, five days. Let's do five days for fifty dollars. And that'll be $5 a day. Uh, now, what I want to show you down here is $5 a day per channel. Now, you have distribute evenly across channels. Two of them are selected, Instagram and Facebook. Or you can use automatic placements for both. And automatic placement, what Facebook will do is they'll use the algorithm to spend your money the right way. So if your ad isn't performing well on Instagram and it's performing better on Facebook, they'll move your marketing budget over to Facebook as opposed to Instagram and vice versa. So automatic placement is basically dynamic placement. And that's what you want to choose. Unclick, click Click automatic placement and unclick distribute evenly because Facebook will will put your ad uh, on the platform where it's performing the best. Okay, so and then we save the duration and budget and then we publish the campaign. Now I'm obviously not going to publish it, um, but if you did, uh, the way you would uh, the way you would check on your ads is you would go you would go into this dashboard, which is the campaigns dashboard, and that's again the first thing that you see when you log into campaign. So let me load this up so I can show you some analytics. All right, so um, here's a campaign that ran really well for us. Um, we ran it for seven days. Okay, now by the way, in order to see your leads, you gotta click the line here that it's on. Okay, and so then you'll see that I ran this for seven days. I got 3,241 3, impressions, 244 clicks, and 46 leads. When I click this button for go to leads, it'll bring me to those leads. I only spent 70 bucks, but it was a dollar fifty two a lead, and I got full contact information for all of them because I used the lead generation form. Now, when you click this, you can see the ad, and I love this because it shows you uh, once it's published, like what the ad looks like uh, when it's on Facebook. And then when you want to watch, look at the mobile, it shows you what the ad looks like uh, when it's on mobile as well. So I love that feature. And um, over here, uh, it'll show you, um, you know, what your uh, campaign looks like. Uh, this is a video campaign, so it's taking a little bit. Oh, there we go. 
Um, yeah, so this is a video campaign that I'm running for the app. And I think I had one on two channels before. Here we go. Yes. Um, so this one ended. So I can't sh I can't click it anymore. But it would show me what it looked like on uh, Instagram and on 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 Facebook at the same time. So all of your um, campaigns uh, will show here and up here. You'll see how many are active and you'll see how many impressions, how much you've spent, so on and so forth. Um, so anyway, that's how you run a, fit, a paid Facebook ad and Instagram ad at the same time. Hope that was uh, helpful to you. And uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. No, phone number is 973-901-0446 or email me rttmmarketing at rttmmarketing.com.